I'm in the day room. Uh, Ramirez, he uh, he came in. They was just arguing. The inmates and him was just going back and forth. Uh, Next thing you know, Officer Ramirez locked himself in the cell with three other inmates. He pretty much went in the cell and the door closed behind him. And the uh, inmates on the top tier who was out, including myself, just laughing at him. Crazy man, he just, how you do that? He know he not supposed to be in the cell. He supposed to have one foot in, one foot out. I want to go to the door and be like, bro, just tell me your code number. You can trust me, like for real. But I can't really say that because I'm not about to compromise what I have to help you save your job. He radioed, and uh, the rover came and let him out. And she gave him a look like, I can't believe you did this. Like, that's so embarrassing. And I, honestly, I felt embarrassed for him. That's extremely embarrassing, because that's going to be on camera. Is that what happened to you? No, no. Every time I got locked in a cell, we're doing cell searches. And in our cells, we got this little flap. But we'll step in the cell, close the door, and we'll search the cell from the inside. I feel like he should have been on the radio calling back up for his safety and the, everyone else's safety. It's pretty much like, you know, your, your safety is only as good as your weakest link. With him, it's just you're not aware of your surroundings. You're here for a check, and you're not in tune with what you're doing. You're letting what's in front of you right now distract you from the total mission. <laughs> <laughs>